So we are 55 floors above ground here, about 244 meters up, which is about 800 meters. We're gonna see if we can spy on some workers in the adjoining building. To do that, we're gonna be using these Salati in the daytime, night vision, binoculars. The cool thing about these binoculars is they record video, so you'll be able to see what I see. They have a built-in 2.3 inch LCD screen and a four time zoom. So let's go check out what we can actually see during daytime and during nighttime. Pretty good already. And the great thing is you don't actually have to look through it. Let's see if we can see some workers. Where are they? So the workers are actually working right there. So let's press record. All right, and now we are actually recording. So we're just looking right now. So let's go and focus in on the workers that are actually straight down there. 55 floors down. This goes down to about 300 meters which is about 978 feet. There is no electronic image stabilization built into it, but there is a quarter inch thread on the bottom of the binoculars, so you can attach any tripod, making it a lot easier, obviously, to not to only hold, but to maneuver around here. Let's go check out the skyline here, because we are in Toronto, and see if we can spot the CN Tower. Now this scene tower is 43.7 kilometers away from this particular building and this is zoomed in so let's zoom it out to the default setting. So as you can see while it is a little bit grainy that is quite quite the feat without having a telescoping lens. Let's take a look at some of the highway let's see if we can maybe zoom in on some of the vehicles. Now, of course, we're not going to be able to read any license plate at this distance, but, you know, for tracking purposes, but just for fun and hobbyists, this is definitely a pretty nice toy. All right, so let's go and check out some more night vision and daytime spying footage. Enjoy. The regular glass lens binoculars you will definitely see a much sharper projection when you're looking through it because here you're looking through the LCD screen but the feature sets of this one definitely outweigh the traditional kind because you cannot see in the dark with any traditional binoculars. On the side of the binoculars, you're gonna find a charging port for micro USB, as well as a slot for your 32 gigabyte SD card, which they've included. These night vision goggles are IP56 waterproof. You cannot submerge them in water, but for light rain, it will restrain moisture and any dust again in between the buttons and behind the slit as well. So you don't have to worry about it gripping it in the wet condition or having it be damaged because it falls on the floor. Some of the other features include a tripod mounting thread, manual focus, and a 4x digital zoom, as well as the ability to connect this to a PC. So your power on button, you hold it for three seconds, and as long as the six batteries are in, the camera will turn on. These are your side straps. If it's very comfortable, you're under your neck. Next up is your mode button, circle through settings, and camera options. The shot button allows you to take a still picture or start recording video. You can also switch between picture mode, video mode, and playback mode. Yes, yeah, so you can preview your videos or stills right on your camera LCD screen. But there is no audio. 
Now these goggles will see in 100% darkness and there are seven levels of illumination to monitor and photograph animals very clearly. The next two buttons are infrared, so you press down during daytime right here on the infrared down or zoom out button. And at nighttime you want to press the IR plus or zoom in button to brighten whatever you're seeing up to a distance of 300 meters. And there are seven levels of illumination to monitor and photograph animals very clearly. You need six AA batteries, although there is a micro USB charging port to keep some of the battery juice. You're definitely going to want to have batteries if you don't want the binoculars to die on you quickly. You can always probably take a power bank and uh, attach it on a Velcro to the bottom of this. You add a little weight, but you'd be able to essentially have quite a long power. So, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.